Growing up in the 1960s was in some ways bucolic. Oh sure, the country was dealing with civil rights issues and the Vietnam War was about to be front and center. But in Deer Park, Long Island, New York, we were in the post-World War II Korean War frame of mind. For the most part, the men went to work and the women, well, they took care of everything else. It was the suburbs after all. We knew our neighbors well, the Breens, the Duprinos, the Lawlers, the Martinos. The Catanzarides didn't stay long, and a series of folks came and went from that one house on the cul-de-sac. Everyone else was in it for the long haul. Life was good. Barbecues, parties, the first day of school, or even simply hanging out on the front porch or the side of the house. Did I say parties? Seemed there were a lot of them. Well, truth be told, my father would rarely pull out the 8mm movie camera, but a party was a great reason to do just that. New Year's Eve, Halloween, birthdays, well, both for the kids and the adults. While he wasn't the best cameraman, I'm sure glad that he had captured what he did. Without realizing it, he created a historic record for not only my wonder years, but the early years of all of us on Bart Court. Me, my brother, Mark, and our neighbors, Karen, Susan, Allison, Robin, Danny, Nancy, Tommy, Richard, Robert, Martin, and Virginia. And those were just the kids. Some of my favorite memories are the Bart Court get-togethers. Nancy Duprino and I would often canvas door-to-door -to, -door to get the adults to make a get-together happen when our lobbying efforts were successful. I can remember Uncle Frank, as he was affectionately known, starting a barbecue with breakfast and ending it with a few nightcaps well after sundown. This barbecue was most likely one of the first, maybe even the first. Judging by the age of both the kids and the adults, and the lack of landscaping. It's also most likely the reason, as the years went by, that Nancy and I always wanted more of the same. Hey, what's not to like? Someone must have set up the turntable from Models because there was a lot of dancing. Well, and there was also a few cigarettes, a few beers, cocktails, sugary sodas, and plenty of red meat. Seems none of this did any harm or had any ill effects. As far as I know, we all turned out okay. My father's camera captured a lot of dancing. As you can see, there was more than enough dancing. But, you know, these celebratory images really represented a sense of community, a sense of family, a sense of belonging. Maybe that's not how it really was. But that's how I choose to remember it. 